to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Greetings to each every one in the mighty name of Jesus. Those online in Jesus' name has been called upon to read the night lesson we'll do by reading from Psalms 136 in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. For his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords. For his mercy endures forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders. For his mercy endures forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. For his mercy endures forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. For his mercy endures forever. To him that made great lights. For his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day. The moon and stars to rule by night. For his mercy endures To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn. For his mercy endures And brought out Israel from among them. For his mercy endures With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm. For his mercy endures to him which divided the Red Sea into parts. For his mercy endures forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it. For his mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. For his mercy endures forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy endures forever. To him which smote great kings. For his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings. For his mercy endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites. For his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan. For his mercy endures forever. And gave their land for a heritage. For his mercy endures forever. Even a heritage unto Israel his servant. For his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our low estate. For his mercy endures forever. And has redeemed us from our enemies. For his mercy endures forever. Who giveth food to all flesh. For his mercy endures forever. We read together the 26th and last. O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, I'm called to Elder Rob in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm going to lay down my burdens down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. I'm going to lay down my burdens down by the riverside. I'm going to study.
bow down before him and the heaven and earth do adore him. Praise God. No God like the God whom we serve. Praise God. He's King of Kings and he's Lord of Lords. And there's nobody else beside him. Praise God. We give God thanks for his goodness, his mercy. Praise God for leading us thus far. 
Um, this time we're just going to have a few words of uh, encouragement testimonies from some of our brethren. Praise God. It's a time to give God thanks. Praise God because He is good and His mercy does endure forever. Praise God. And this time I'm going to ask our Mother Nelson uh, just to give us a few words of encouragement. Praise God and to give thanks for God in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. unto the Lord for his good, yes. for his mercy endureth forever. Praise God. He said, one who remembered me when I was in my low state, for his mercy endureth forever. Praise God. Giving God thanks tonight. Praise God. Greet our bishop. Praise God and all the wonderful people of God. I just greet you in Jesus' name. Giving God thanks to be here, standing on this part of ground. Praise God another time. Praise God. I give God thanks tonight for he brought me from a mighty, mighty long way. Praise God. I couldn't do it by myself, but I give God thanks for bringing me thus far. Praise God. Over the years, we have many shipwreck. Praise God. Many car wreck and all different things on the motorway. But God is good. He carry us through for 40 and 7 years that we can be here tonight to say oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and God is good he is God that don't change praise God and at times we need to look back where God has brought us from the time said roll back the curtains of memories now and then you know and look back where we are coming from and see where the Lord has brought us from because it didn't just happen overnight. No, no. Praise God. It goes stage by stage until we get where we are tonight. So I just want to give God thanks. And I thank him for keeping me. Praise God. We're a pastor of past and gone, that lady foundation. Praise God. But a downy of past and gone. But God kept me. He kept me. And I always say he kept me. And I mean to hold on. Praise God. At times trial come. Trouble will come. But God kept me. And he will carry me through. And to the end. You pray for me saints. Because I have a determination. He didn't bring me this far to leave me. And I know that better is ahead. If I just keep on pressing. As the song said. It's Jehovah's will. Praise God. Power still is Jehovah's will. Yes. So we just keep on pushing and push ahead. Yes. We'll all make it in. You pray for me. Praise the Lord. Give God thanks for my Nelson. Praise God. 47 years. Praise God. Serving God in Mount Talif. Give God thanks. To serve God longer than that. Praise the name of Jesus. We give God thanks in Jesus' name. This is our few words from Minister Williams. In Jesus' name. Let the church say praise the Lord. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Lord. Lord, eh, people. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. He's worthy to be praised. Truly give God thanks unto the Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, and to our Bishop Floyd Danny, to our fellow ministers of the gospel, mothers in Zion, and saints and children, in a wonderful, powerful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. He stretched out his arms. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, that a beautiful day that he brought me into the house. Praise God of the true apostolic church in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, praise God and thanks be to God. The Lord has helped me to continue to stand on the promises of God. It's not by might, praise God. It's not my will, but God's will, praise the Lord. He give me strength. He give me vision. Hallelujah be the glory. He give me breath. Praise God. He be breath into my and we became a living soul. Hallelujah. Because his mercy endured forever unto all generations. 
salvation. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God thanks, praise God, even for a real let the apostle down in. In Jesus' name, the God spoke to him and he committed the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, not by himself, but by, by the will of the Lord Jesus. And now look at his seeds. Hallelujah be the glory. Saints of God. Hallelujah. Let us continue this good old fashioned way. Keep on, keep it on. Bless God. And at the end of this journey, thank you, Lord. We want to hear. Well done. Well done. My brother. Well done. My sister. Keep the faith. Roll on. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We praise the Lord again. Praise God. Just turn to your neighbor. Tell him that God is a good God. Glory to God. Just turn to your neighbor and say, God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Just turn to somebody else. Tell them that God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell to somebody else. Tell them God is a good God. He is. He's a good God. Praise God. Turn to somebody else. Come on your seat. Turn to somebody else. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on your seat. Come on. Tell them. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Come on, church. This is fellowship. God is a good God. Walk you up this morning. Put shoes on your feet. Clothes on your back. Praise God. He is a good God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he is good, for he is good, for he is good. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hail of all shut up. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He 
is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is good. So good. So good, so good. Yes, he is. 
Yes, he is. So good. Yes, Lord. So good. Yes, Lord. So good. Yes, Lord. So good. So good. Yes, Lord. Yes, he is. So good. So good. Yes, Lord. So good. So good. Yes, Lord. So good. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord
Alan Wittergang. Thanks God, we give God thanks. We're not going to shut up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We all give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. They could have all shot. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because he is good. And his mercy in this time. Praise God. We give God thanks. Because I can feel him in my hands. And I can feel him in my feet. Hallelujah. And I can feel him all over me. Praise God. I give God thanks again that Jesus is in the house. Praise God. So many places where people try to worship God and he's not there. Praise God. But he tells Solomon that where my name is, I will be there. Praise God. We give God thanks. In Jesus' name, we are here to magnify the Lord and give him thanks. Praise God. This time, a few words from, um, praise God, Mr. Makinoff. In Jesus' name. After which, I'm going to ask you to get ready with the song. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and your mercies. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to greet our pastor, which is our Bishop Floyd, and all the, our, praise our elders. Greeting to you all and all of God's wonderful people. I greet all of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, well, uh, giving God thanks to be in his house another time. Praise uh, another year service of Thanksgiving service. Praise the Lord Jesus. When the song was singing, praise the Lord God, I was about the mighty God that we serve. Praise the Lord God, remind me of our Sunday school golden text that we had the other day. And it said, for thine is thy greatness, O Lord. Praise the Lord God, and thy power, and thy glory, and thy victory and thy majesty for thine is the kingdom and thou art exalted head above all praise the Lord Jesus so in case we don't know who the glory all the glory belongs to it belongs to our God it belongs to the king of kings and the lord of lords he deserves all the glory all the praise for that's the God that we serve we can hold nothing back Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord Jesus. By the Bible said, for, for God, God, give thanks unto the Lord for his good. Praise the Lord God. The scripture reminds of another scripture when it said, eh, Praise the Lord, it's by his mercy that we are not confused. But the Bible says, His compassion faileth not. But they are new every morning. Then it said, Great is thy faithfulness. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's not by any man work while we are here today. It's but because of the faithfulness of God. So we have a lot to give God thanks for. Many people could not make it into his service. But we thank God has given us strength. That we are here today. Praise the Lord to lift up his name. To give him all the glory and all the praise. God bless you. I give God thanks for Mr. Makanoff for wonderful encouraging words. Giving God thanks for a faithful brother. Praise God to General Assembly. This time, I have a song from Miss River and Downey. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to God. Yeah. 
wait and press in on because I found a savior, friend, and guide. Oh, yes, I have somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day. Don't trouble overtakes me along life's weary road. Yet I Journey sweet mind every day. I'm going home tomorrow when life on earth is true. For I've got somebody with me all the way. Oh, yes, I've got somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day.
Praise God. Praise Jesus. God bless you, Mr. Ray. Turn around to the sun. He's able. He's able. I know our God is able. Praise God. And that's why David said, Yeah, they all go for the valley of the shadow of death. Praise God. I will feel no evil. Praise God. Why? Right? Because the Lord with me, thy rod and your staff do comfort me. Praise God. He said, Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise God. We give God thanks. In Jesus' name, God, we give God thanks for his goodness and mercy. This time, the research of the time, Bishop, Bishop Floyd down in Jesus' name. Don't feel no waste time. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told. Yeah. 
Let's magnify his name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Giving God thanks, giving him praise, giving him honor, giving him glory. Praise the Lord for a day like today. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down the same. Our God, the God of creation, the God of the world, the God of the past, the present, and the future. The God that created heaven and the earth and everything else that comes with it. We thank him today for his goodness and his mercy. We thank him for his excellence. Praise God to bring us together like this. Let's magnify the name of the Lord Jesus. On this, the 47th anniversary of Mount Olive Apostolic Church. Praise God. Praise God. 47 years. I could run a test right now and see how many that are over 47 to stand up. We see quite a few still sitting down. Praise God. More than the lifetime of some people. And I give God thanks today that we are still standing on the promises of Jesus Christ. Praise God. You might not have nothing to give God thanks for, but I have much to give God thanks for. Praise God. I thank him for making provision. When I did not know that he was making a provision, he already had me on his mind. He was already cutting and clearing the way. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. It's amazing that cultivators can look at a plot of ground that's overrun and, and look so awful to look at. But when they see it, they see produce. They see crop. They see potential. Praise God, and they're able to go down and clear it out. Praise God, when others would have walked past it and said it's no good. That, that, that piece of land is trash. Praise God, but some have the vision. And people get so upset when they turn it around and make it look good, they want to now come and partake. Hallelujah. But I'm thankful to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that 47 years ago, praise God, that he was making provisions for today. Hallelujah. Today was 47 years in the making. It was 47 years of his plan. Why we are standing here today. So I give God much praise. Praise the Lord. We cannot forget our late Apostle Downey. Amen. Praise the Lord who started Mount Olive 47 years ago with a handful of Sunday school children. Praise God. And from there he went on by the grace of God. Oftentimes spoke of his testimony of how, praise God, he was belittled by others when they were upset at the fact that the Lord had called him and sent him out to do this work. And when they wanted to ridicule him, they would say, can the, the church of Pastor Downey please stand up? And it was him, his wife, and a few little children. Praise God, but thanks be to God, 47 years later, If God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why I have much to give God thanks for. Before God made Adam and Eve, he made the earth. The sea, the land, 
He made the, the fowl of the air, the beast of the field, the fish of the sea, the green herbs. He made everything. And then when it was finished, he made man. Hallelujah. Praise God. God always does the work so that someone can come into the garden when the work is finished. The Bible says the harvest is ripe. But the laborers are few. So true a word ever spoken. Praise the Lord. We give God thanks. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want to take this moment to to extend greetings to Pastor Reed. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord in the sense that have come from London. Praise God again. We give God thanks for you, sir. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask you to come and say a few words in Jesus' name. Praise God. Let's do it. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Reed of Shabbat Praise Ministries. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I truly give God thanks to be here tonight with you. I am maybe a stranger to many of you, but I'm not a stranger to God. He's my daddy. I loved him. I was um, at the back there and I, I, I find myself a little bit restrained. I couldn't, I love your worship and I feel like I gotta move. And I, 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 I was just um, grateful when uh, looking at two things while I stand up over there is that God, they must have oil in the lamp, 47 years. And while they have oil in the lamp, there is some that come to the end of the journey. And there is some that's still going on. And then I started to think again and I said, when David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And I always wonder when he said it, you know, he said, magnify the Lord with me. That means he's saying to us, God is big. But he's saying, I want you to help me make him big. Because a magnified glass uh, extend the thing. And tonight as we come all the way from London, travel up Deacon Green and my wife, and we really, we, we heard about the, 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 the Thanksgiving service, and we want to be a part of it. And I, my wife would be working, but we decided, let's do it Saturday. And sa Monday's bank holiday, we can rest, because we have church tomorrow. But we just want to magnify the Lord with you. We just want to praise the Lord with you. Oh, make him bigger than what he already is. We grateful and to, to your bishop, God bless you, sir. Thank you for having us. I think we've met before and um, to the late Bishop Downey, I was introduced by Mother Green with Bishop Downey many years ago. So I want you to know I'm coming off a good table. I was sitting around good table. God bless you. Thank you for having us. We're here to worship God. And I, and, and I just want to, you to know that I, I, I feel that this won't be the last time. I want to worship God with you. I see that you, there's a fire inside of you. That you worship God. Keep on keeping on. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Praise Jesus. Give me God. Thanks for um, Pastor Reed and the saints from Shabbat Ministries. Praise the Lord. I, I must admit, we met... It, it just did not register in my mind, but I thank for Deacon Green, praise the Lord, who was very persistent, <laughs> praise the name of the Lord, and said he wanted to be here, and if I taught the truth, I, I doubt him. <laughs> I doubt him, but the Lord is good, and he's greatly to be praised, and I thank the saints that have taking the journey to be here with us. Yes, I thank the Lord that we can be here just to worship His holy name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We are here to stand on the promises of Jesus Christ. Jesus told Peter upon this rock, will I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise the Lord. We thank God for bringing us this far. At this time, we're going to have a song from the youth choir in Jesus' name. Praise God.
Praise God. Brokenness, brokenness is what I 
Hallelujah. Holiness. Is what I long for. For you are told in the scriptures that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Let's magnify the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's give him the glory and praise one more time. Praise the name of the Lord. 47 years. Truly, it's a, it's a long time. Praise God. And I, praise God, was pondering who will come and speak to the church tonight. But when I thought of the 47 years, there's one individual that stuck in my mind that all he's ever known is Mount Olive. Praise God. Never known anything else. So I felt it apt tonight that the speaker or the person in which is going to speak tonight is the person of District Elder Keith Nelson. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But a few months old, but a few months old, 47 years, praise God, thank you for your faithfulness, your steadfastness, praise God and may the Lord richly bless you. Church, I present to you District Elder Keith Nelson, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. For those who don't know the story, praise the Lord Jesus. Let me first give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, wonderful God, King of kings and Lord of lords. God all by himself. Praise the Lord Jesus. I extend greetings to my bishop, my pastor. Praise the Lord Jesus to our elders. Praise the Lord Jesus to evangelist ministers. Praise God to Pastor Reed. Praise God and each and every one within the sounding of my voice, I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise be to God. I'm going to fill in a few blanks. Praise God with a little lesson in history. Praise the Lord Jesus, for the Lord has brought us from a mighty long way. Praise the Lord Jesus. And it was in the month of August that, praise be to God, God moved on the heart of Apostle Downey, then Deacon Downey, praise God, to start this Sunday school. Praise the Lord Jesus. And praise God, he went out with, praise God, his wife, our Mother Downey, the late Mother Downey, praise God, and his, praise God, household, his children. Praise God, the eldest in the pack. Praise God, was Sister Janice. Praise be to God, out of his household, his children. Sister Janice, who was then 11 years old. Praise the Lord Jesus. I said, I'm going to fill in a few blanks, a bit of history, just tell you where we're coming from. Praise be to God, and praise God, our bishop then, uh, praise be to God, was a, uh, he was just about to turn 10. Praise God, he was nine and somewhat, just before his 10th birthday. Praise the Lord Jesus, and praise God, there was also Sister Sonia. Praise God, who was at the time six years old, and now Elder Mark, who was one. Praise the Lord Jesus. That was his house. Him, his wife, and some children. Praise the Lord Jesus. And thanks be to God, in the process of time, I, 
I understand that it was the following week, praise the Lord Jesus, that Mother Nelson, praise God, uh, uh, and, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill in a few more blanks. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see, Mother Nelson then, praise God, had three children. Praise the Lord Jesus. Elder John was the eldest, age six. We all have both. Missionary Anne, praise the Lord Jesus, who was about to turn, how old is this? She was about to turn five. She was four years old, about to turn five the next month. Three coming forth, thank you. As she symbol me wrong. Praise God. Praise God. You remember now? All right. And praise God, there was myself, who was the youngest of all the children. Praise the Lord Jesus. I had just passed my first birthday. So everything that I'm telling you is not from what I remember because I don't remember one thing. It's what I have been told. And according to the scripture, we're supposed to tell of God's goodness, where he has brought us from. That's why I know. Praise be to God, but I'm not supposed to keep it to myself. I'm supposed to tell somebody else so they can know where they're coming from. Is that all right? Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, I'm going to give you a little more history. Mother Nelson, praise God, came faithfully. Nevertheless, her household was in trouble. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because her husband, the late deacon or minister Nelson, minister uh, uh, Albert James Nelson, that's my daddy, my birth father, not my uh, apostle, was my spiritual father, praise God, who taught me many things and became, praise God, likened unto a natural father, praise God, in the process of adoption. But nevertheless, my natural birth daddy was sick and sick bad too. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nevertheless, Mother Nelson cranked up her children. You see, sometimes we seem to look for excuses to stay home from church. Hachu, I can't go out. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm too tired. And we look for excuses at times to stay home from church. And praise be to God. Somebody said, I've just had some bad news. I can't go out. Praise the Lord Jesus. But I heard what David said. He said, I was glad. When I get bad news, I want to be in God's presence. When I get good news, I want to be in God's presence. When things is upside down, I need a touch from the Lord. When things is, praise be to God, turn all around. When I can't see the light, I say I need a touch from the Almighty God. Mother Nelson cried up her children and faithfully devoted herself. She was already a missionary at that time. Praise the Lord Jesus. She, she, she wasn't a new convert. Praise the Lord Jesus. She already been serving God a number of years. Can't tell you how much you have to ask you. Praise God, but in 1976, this was started, and somebody mocked, and somebody laughed, because it's three adults and a few children. Praise the Lord Jesus. But look what Jesus do. Praise the Lord Jesus. And listen, I want you to know, 
it's not about the numbers. Because there's some churches that are full and bursting with numbers, but God is not in it. I was considering this afternoon, praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, I was making preparation for today and for tomorrow. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I took the, 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 the water wash clothes and pull up the iron board and plug in the iron and begin to iron and I begin to remember my mind went way back to my childhood stay with me a minute I'm getting somewhere way back to my childhood and I remember before I ever picked up an iron I remember my mother used to iron in a strange location Stay with me a minute. She used to iron in the doorway of her bedroom. She used to block the entrance to her bedroom and iron, put the iron board there. It didn't look convenient to me. It didn't look like it was a sensible place to me. And when I asked her, I don't, you remember them days? And when I asked her why she ironed there, she says she's looking off the light on the landing. Because the light on the landing was the brightest light. Now, to me, every room in the house have a light. To me, every light in the house is bright. Yes. And it wasn't until I got a little bit older and she taught me to iron that I realized the value of the strength of the landing light. Yes. Oh, praise God. Are you there with me, church? Yes. You see, not every light that was in the house had the same brightness. So if I try to iron from a different light, Come on now. I don't have clear vision to do what is necessary to be done. Are you there with me? Praise the Lord Jesus. It remind me of a time, praise be to God, where, praise God, I took a lawnmower in daylight and decided to cut grass. But the sun went down so quick. Before I knew what was going on, it was darkness. And I'm cutting grass in darkness. And it looked good still to me in darkness. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God and I pack everything away in darkness. And I put away the lawnmower in darkness and went to my bed. And when I wake up in the morning and the lights shine, and I come and look out the window at the grass when we cut the night before, me say, Lord of mercy, it don't look good at all. Why? Because it was done in darkness. Praise the Lord Jesus. What am I trying to say here? 47 years and the light of Mount Olive is still shining. Praise the Lord Jesus. 47 years. Praise be to God and we refuse to go dim. Praise the Lord Jesus. Jesus said to his disciples, let your light so shine before men. Praise be to God. And this is an important point that he made to his disciples. He said, it's not about you. Let your light shine before men. That they may see not you. Not your name. Praise the Lord Jesus. But when they see your good works, that they may glorify your Father. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. 
that they may glorify your Father which is in heaven. Praise the Lord Jesus. The psalmist tonight, praise God, in Psalm 136, praise God, he decided to take a walk through history. And he looked back. He began by saying, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Praise be to God, but after he spoke about, for his mercy endureth forever. After he said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. Praise God. He began to recount some history, some events that had taken place, some things that God has done. Praise be to God. I tell you again, church, you got to know where you're coming from. You got to know who brought you out of darkness into marvelous light. You got to know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. Praise God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord of lords. Praise be to God. He said to him alone, great wonders. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise be to God. We see that he first just recognized God as God. Praise God. Not for you know, sometimes we, praise God, only remember God when he's done something and we see what he has done and we feel like, praise the Lord Jesus, we should give him a thank you. Praise be to God and sometimes people don't realize that you just got to recognize who he is. Praise be to God that when the things don't feel so good... Praise the Lord Jesus when your friends turn their back. Amen. When the bills going out is more than what is coming in. He's still God. Amen. He said in his word. According to 1 Thessalonians. In everything. Give thanks. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now praise the Lord Jesus after the first few verses where he just recognized who God is. Where he just give him the glory. He said praise God that he's the God of gods. He's the Lord of lords. That he alone does great wonders. He began to testify. Praise God stretched out the earth above the waters. Praise the Lord Jesus made great lights. Praise be to God. I did say let your light shine. He made the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the light. Praise the Lord Jesus. He put everything in place. I heard our bishop, praise God, remind us that he did all of this in the beginning. Prepared everything and then made Adam. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sometimes, praise God, as we travel in this life, praise be to God, you don't realize that God is preparing something for you in your future. Praise be to God. He's molding it. He's shaping it. He's putting it together. He's fashioning it. Praise God. He's establishing it. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Bible tells us, praise God, that the children of Israel were in bondage in Egypt for hundreds of years. Praise be to God in the land, praise God, that they had come from. Praise the Lord Jesus that they had left because of famine. Praise God, the land that had been destitute. Within those 400 years, God built it up. He established it. And what did he call it? He said it's now a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Praise be to God. Sometimes we go through troubles and trials. But God is preparing what he has in store for you. Praise be to God. It's got your name on it. You just got to wait. Praise the Lord Jesus. Your blessing is in or on the way. But you got to be ready for it. 
you got to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Praise be to God. When it don't come today, you still got to wait. When it don't come tomorrow, you still got to wait. When it don't come the next day and the next year, you still got to wait. Praise be to God. And when you wait on the Lord and when you be of good courage, what is he going to do? He's going to strengthen. He's going to strengthen. Glory be to God. Praise your name, Jesus. Glory be to God. We're coming down to verse 10. The Bible said that he smote Egypt in their firstborn, brought out Israel from among them with a strong hand and a stretched out arm. Praise God. And then he divided the Red Sea into parts. You see, church, praise be to God. God could have had it that Moses and Aaron could have been, praise the Lord Jesus, a skilled uh, bow and arrow shooters. Praise the Lord Jesus. He could have had it that they knew how to throw stones accurately. He could have had it that the children of Israel Praise the Lord Jesus, we're able to fashion swords and spears. Praise be to God and take uh, Pharaoh and his house and go into battle and have a physical fight. Did you get it? God could have. Praise the name Jesus. But you see the, uh, the attitude of men. When something happens by their own hand, their attitude is that they start to take the glory for themselves. They begin to praise and establish themselves. And God would not have it that Praise be to God, the glory should go to anybody else. So every time, praise God, Moses stood before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh began to soften. The Bible said God hardened his heart. Praise the Lord Jesus. And what happened is, God get the glory. Praise the Lord Jesus. And sometimes in your school, in your workplace, even in your home, somebody's heart is hardened to teach you how to pray. Praise the Lord Jesus. To remind you that you can't do it by yourself. Praise the Lord Jesus. 47 years didn't do it by ourselves. Praise the Lord Jesus. In the early, uh, I remember the late 80s and the early 90s where Apostle Downey then had a desire and a zeal to move out of rented buildings. He said we need a church for the people of God, a house to be established that we don't have any caretaker turning off the lights. Praise the Lord Jesus, that we don't have to sweep up cigarette butts on a Sunday morning. He had a vision and a desire and a thirst to do this for the people of God. When he had a zeal, when he had a thirst, when he had a desire, he did not have the money. But he had faith. And he remembered what the scripture said. Said if you have faith 
as a mustard seed, you can tell the mountain to get out the way. Praise the Lord Jesus. So by faith, he searched for buildings. And as young brothers, praise God, young teenagers, as his sons, he would take us with him wherever he saw a building and he would start knocking and start making some noise and start asking people, what about this place? Praise God, we need a church for the people of God. We need your building. And I, I remember the one place that he testified about many, many times. It was a building that was uh, almost abandoned, destitute and run down. And he says, okay, we can get that, we can fix it, we can do something with it. Not a big place, but a place. Praise be to God. And he went and sought about the building. And they answered him and told him, the building is in use. It's not available to you. And he went back to them and said, I've seen the condition of that building. That building is destitute. You can't use that for anything. What use do you have for that building? They said they use it to train dogs. His heart sank because they would rather train the dogs than allow the people of God to have a place. But as I said before, God have a way of preparing something for you even when he hasn't shown you. Even when he hasn't yet told you. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see, this building was built uh, in around, I think it's 1792. Praise the Lord Jesus. It was built hundreds of years ago. And people used this building. Praise God, it was then uh, established as a Baptist church. Praise the Lord Jesus. This area that we are in was known as Little London. Therefore, the building was known as Little London Baptist Church. Praise the Lord Jesus. But I said, God have a way to prepare your blessing. Somehow, the membership depleted. And the building came into disrepair. Praise the Lord Jesus. Our first experience of this building, when you walk in here, you can look up and see daylight outside through the roof. Praise the Lord Jesus. The building was in a bad state. Praise the Lord Jesus. I remember Apostle testify about when he came in. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, I won't say who he came in with. But somebody came in with him and they both looked around together, one of the church members, and they looked and saw all the work that was needed and they said, mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Jesus. Meanwhile, the pastor was looking around saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was him. That was him. All over. Praise the Lord Jesus. God had reserved this place for you and I to be here today. We didn't have the money. We didn't have the resources. But God made a way. Just a handful of brethren. Praise the Lord Jesus. And praise be to God, if my memory serves me right, it was uh, towards the closing of 1994 that we finally received and got the building. That's right. yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. I remember when Apostle sp 
spoke to the church when we were in our rented building. This is just a little more history. Is that all right? Yes. He spoke to the church, said, we want to buy a church. We need to get a church. Praise the Lord Jesus. And, you, you, you know, everybody, everybody's, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, knowing that, praise God, uh, uh, um, you can't buy a church with water. You can't buy it with fresh air. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nor do we expect the sinner to come and buy it first. His brethren, his saints. Praise the Lord Jesus. If anybody's supposed to sacrifice, it's us. If anybody's supposed to give, it's us. Now remember, he made an appeal to the church. Praise the Lord Jesus. And one of our Sunday school. Praise the Lord Jesus. I think it was 50 pence. A 10 pence? 10 pence. Yes, I feel your mother. Praise the Lord Jesus. She came with 10 pence. Praise God and gave it and said, this is for the church. Praise God. He testified about it everywhere he go. Praise God because he felt that was the most precious yes. gift. He, praise God, likened it unto the might yes. that the widow gave because she didn't have much. And we know that our Sunday school children, their 10 pence is for sweetie. Yes. Praise, listen, 10 pence, no, is, is, is different, you know. No, you get one sweetie with 10 pence. <laughs> no, you, you, I, I don't know if you can get a mint ball. But back then you could get a few. Praise the Lord Jesus. And she gave and surrendered her 10 pence and gave. Praise the Lord Jesus. What am I saying to you? I'm saying, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. He has brought us from a mighty long way. But I want to warn you about something. You see, too many times people look at where God has brought them from. And then say, well, I've come this far. And God has been good to me. Praise God. And they don't bother to press any further. They don't bother to push anymore. But what I'm saying to you is we've come this far. It's not time to give up. It's time to hold on. It's not time to turn back. But it's time to go forward. Again, I said forward still. Praise be to God. The Bible went on to say, and I look back, praise the Lord Jesus. In my childhood, I was quite observant as a child. I didn't always say much because I knew that it wasn't my place, but I observe. Praise the Lord Jesus. And there were people who had hostility towards this church. Big people, adults, grown-ups, who had disdain and hostility towards our then pastor. People who couldn't stand him. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nevertheless, his labor was not for people. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. And I saw with these two eyes, but I saw people with disdain for him. And when he turned around, he just helped them. He just showed them kindness. He just turned around and be good to them. Praise the Lord Jesus. 
Me see I'm blind, hear I'm deaf. Praise the Lord Jesus. But these things give me an example. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise be to God. It reminds me that the Bible says, uh, vengeance is mine, I will repay. Yes. Praise the, Lord. And the Bible teaches us that we ought not to look for revenge. Yes. Said, avenge not yourselves. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. And Jesus said, praise God, that we should pray for them that despitefully yes. use you. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God, not everybody wants to say amen to that. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. Not everybody loves to hear, but Elder, you see what I'm doing? The truth of the matter is, we want to have the Spirit of God in us, working through us. That Spirit of forgiveness. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. You see, forgiveness is easy sometimes. It's simple and straightforward and you don't even have to think about it sometimes. But there's times when it hurts. There's times when you, 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 you really feel it. Praise the Lord Jesus. But Jesus said, praise be to God, we ought to forgive men their trespasses. And if you don't forgive men their trespasses, then your heavenly Father will not forgive your trespasses. And he gave us the example when he said, Father, forgive them. For they not, this is why they're not crucified him. Yes. This is with blood running. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. This is with pain in yes. his body. And he said, Father, forgive them. You want to tell me, say, but him a Jesus, so he can do. And me can't handle it. Praise God for me, he's just a man. And me is just a human being. But I'm reminded of a certain deacon. Yes. By the name of Stephen. And while he was being stoned, you don't take up the rock stone and fling it back. You don't find the strength to do some, some Kung Fu Karate Bruce Lee kick. But he turned and said, Father, Lay not the sin. Praise the Lord Jesus. We got to know to forgive. 47 years. Thank God he has brought us from such a mighty long way. There's a particular verse in this chapter that always comes back to my remembrance. That kind of covers my history said who remembered us in our lowest state bless your name Jesus if I were to search statistics praise the Lord Jesus of what happens or what the end will be, what the lifespan would be of a black boy in a house without his father. Yes. Yes. Born in 1975. Yes. The statistics would tell you of a negative result. Praise the Lord Jesus. But look what Jesus did. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now I got to tell you where God has brought me from. By the age of two, 
My father died from a long and painful sickness, leaving my mother with three children. The eldest was, praise God, six years old. And I was the youngest, not even two years old yet. Praise be to God. And I'm sure there are people who said they're not going to amount to anything. I'm sure there are people who said they're not going to make anything of their life. I'm sure there's people who said that woman is going to go crazy. Somebody must have thought that social services will have to take those children away. But I said, look what Jesus do. I said, look what Jesus do. Praise the Lord Jesus. You may think that we are bright and clever. That we are smart and sophisticated. I'm telling you, we're coming from a long way. Praise the Lord Jesus. Three uh, 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 children without their natural father in the picture. And the mother, I look at the pictures of my father's funeral. I don't remember it. I look at the pictures and I see my mother in tears. Every picture she's bawling. Praise the Lord Jesus. I got passed from one person to another. Praise the Lord Jesus because somebody had to hold the baby. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. But thanks be to God we are here today. Praise, Praise God declaring and proclaiming the victory yes. in Jesus name. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. Praise be to God. My brother who was five years old when my father died is one of the best musicians I have ever seen playing music in church. Praise be to God. And he don't run up and down. He don't find money and things to do to line his pocket. You know what he does? He find the young people and he say, anybody want to learn music? Come. And he start to teach them and you know what he teach them? Me sitting on some classes and me listen good. And he tell them, he said, listen, before you practice, before you touch the keys or the, or the sticks or the, or the strings, first thing you do, you pray. Praise the Lord Jesus. First thing you do is you pray. Praise be to God. That, praise God, just reminds me that, praise the Lord Jesus, he's giving not the glory to him or his ability or his talent or what God has allowed him to do, but the glory still belongs to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Not only that, I'm proud to call my big brother Elder John Nelson. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. So, praise be to God, if you think for a minute that your circumstances give you a disadvantage, help me, Jesus. If you think for a minute that because you don't have what your neighbor have, that you can't make it, I'm here to tell you that all you need is Jesus. I'm here to tell you that greater is he. I'm here to tell you that it don't matter what comes against you when Jesus is in the vessel. Praise the Lord Jesus. I look at my sister Praise the Lord Jesus, missionary Anne Downey. Praise God now, the wife of Bishop Floyd Downey, the mother of seven children. 
Praise the Lord Jesus yeah. and praise God. I, 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 I remember growing up watching my brother and my sister. Praise the Lord Jesus. And they are people who don't stop. Praise the Lord Jesus. They are people with a drive and a zeal for the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. They do not praise God. Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, yeah. maybe, 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 praise be to God, if it wasn't for them to look up to, I wouldn't be where I am today. Praise the Lord Jesus. But thank God for them in my life. Praise be to God. And you know, they looked up to Mother Nelson. Mother Nelson, she was a person who, praise God, labored without reservation. Praise the Lord Jesus. I said she labored without reservation. And if you give her a chance, no, she gone. Praise the Lord Jesus, she run. Praise the Lord. I remember, praise be to God, when, praise God, I want to take a break. Mom said, come on, we got to go. Praise the Lord Jesus. When I want to relax, come on, we got to go. Praise the Lord Jesus. And whatever cause, need, or purpose the church have, that's where we're going. Praise the Lord Jesus. When I sing the song, said, this is my story. And this is my song. Praise be to God. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord Jesus. I watched Apostle and Mother Downey labor tirelessly. Praise the Lord Jesus. I remember, praise God, there's times when they come into church and jump and dance. Praise God. And you see them move under the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God and the power of God. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Praise be to God. And when they get home, they can barely get out the car. Just about getting the house. They've got to wait a little while before they go up the stairs. And next time, they're not going to hold back. You see, you see some of you? You say, well, this is the first day of a three-day meeting. Yes. So, <clears throat> me, me, me go and careful how much me clap. I'm going to careful how much me jump. Yes. And I don't want to sing too much. Save your voice. I want to save my voice so I can still sing on Monday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus. Did you get that? Some of you trying to keep something in reserve for the next day. Praise the Lord Jesus. But what I grew up watching and what I learned as I grew, praise God, is that when I come into the house of God, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving in my heart and into his courts with praise. I'm going to be thankful unto him and bless his name. Praise God. So without reservation, without holding back, without thinking, oh, I want to be able to sing tomorrow. Praise God. I want to be able to run at sports day. I want to be able to do this or I want to be able to do that. Praise be to God. I don't know about tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to see another day. So you know what? Today, I need to glorify God. Today, I need to give him the honor and the praise. Praise the Lord Jesus. Why? Because the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. He's brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Praise be to God. I want you to know that whether you're young or old, Praise God, he still brought you from a mighty long way. You see, he had you in his mind. He had you in his plan. So whether you're five or 55, he had you on his mind. 
and all that he has brought every one of us through was in preparation for you and I today. Praise the Lord Jesus. Be encouraged, my brothers. Be encouraged, my sisters. Knowing that, praise the Lord Jesus, how far he's brought us from. He's not going to abandon us. He's not going to desert us. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Red Sea could have deep some more. Praise God. Nebuchadnezzar could have vexed some more. Praise the Lord Jesus. The lion's den could, the lion could have hungry some more. And the furnace fire could have hot some more. The God we serve is able to do everything and anything. Praise God, he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we ask or even think. Amen. Praise be to God, here's you disappointed I didn't get the job. Amen. Praise God, here's you disappointed at the circumstances of life. Yes. Praise God, but God is telling you, listen, just devote yourself to me. I got everything under control. I got your blessing right here. Just devote yourself unto me. Just Pray some more. You need to do some fasting. You need to do some Bible study. You need to, praise God, bring yourself to the place. Praise God where I can use you for my purpose. All these things I have in store for you. But you just got to surrender. You just got to draw nigh unto me. And then I'll draw nigh unto you. You just got to resist the devil. And he will flee from you. You just got to recognize God as God. Yes. Serve him with gladness. With all your heart, soul, and might. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. And you got to realize, praise God, the scripture tell us in Matthew 6 and verse 33. Yes. It said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And he said that all these things, whatever you need, Whatever you need, I said whatever you need, shall be added unto you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When I first found Jesus, something on me stole, like lightning it went through me. And glory fill my soul Salvation make me happy And took my fears away And when I met all Satan To him I always say I am determined To hold out to the end Jesus is with me On him I can depend For I know I feel it in my soul I am determined to hold out to the end Satan he was angry and said he'll soon be back just let that path grow narrow and he will lose the track but I'm so full of glory my Lord I'll always find and I just say to Satan, oh man, get thee behind. I said, I am determined to hold out to the end. Jesus is with me, on him I can depend. For I know I have salvation, I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold out to the end this old time religion makes me sometimes shout I don't have time to gossip or any time to pout they say that I'm too noisy but when these blessings flow oh shout oh hallelujah I want the world to know I said I am Determined to hold out to the end. Jesus is with me, and in my can defend. 
For I know I have salvation I feel it in my soul I said I am determined To hold out to the end When I hear the trumpet Sounding in the sky I see the mountains trembling To heaven I will fly For Jesus will be calling There'll be no time to make With joy I go up singing I've held out to the end Oh, I said I am determined To hold out to the end Jesus is with me On in my candy bed For I know I have salvation I feel it in my soul Said I am determined To hold out to the end I said I am determined To hold out to the end Jesus is with me I feel it in my soul I am determined to hold up One more time I said I am determined Hold up to the end Jesus is with me And in my candy bed For I know I have salvation I feel it in my soul Hold on to the Let's magnify the name of Jesus. Let's magnify the name of Jesus. Praise God. I am determined to hold out to the end. We thank the Lord Jesus Christ for sending the message to us. Just remembering, stay standing, just remembering, praise God, all the good things. That we are here not because it's been easy. We are here not because, praise God, we, it was a straight path. But we are here because the mercies of God endure forever. Because the Lord had a bigger plan than you and me. The Lord had a plan that was stretching from the beginning of time until he makes his return. Praise God. So don't think you can stop the move of God. Don't think you can stop the plan of God. He's already got everything in control. It's already going to his plan. It's already going just how he said it would. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's give God the glory. Let's give him the praise. The Lord has done great and wonderful things. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. Church, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. Praise God, the altar is open. So if you need to get prayed for, if you need deliverance, if you need your crooked bath to remain straight, praise God if the, the, the time you're in is too dark and you need some light, come to the altar. Praise God for the Lord is rich in mercies. Praise God he can open the eyes of the blind and stop the ears of the deaf, loose the tongue of the, the dumb, Praise God, bring strength to the ankle bones of the lame. Praise God, if you're cast down, he can pick you up. Praise God, if you have no friends, he's the friend. If you've got no father, he's your father. If you've got no mother, he can be your mother. If you've got no friends, Jesus will be your friend. That's why we sing. I am determined to hold out to the end. I said, Jesus is with me, and in my candy pen, for I know, yes, I feel it. 
I said I am determined to hold up. Yes, I said I am determined to hold out to the end. Jesus, honey,
Nelson in your prayers. Praise the Lord. Because the devil loves to test your testimony. He loves to try your words. You see whether you're saying it to entertain or to amuse people. He wants to find out whether you really mean what you say and say what you really mean. Let us therefore stand fast in this glorious liberty and be not again entangled in the yoke of bondage. Please remain standing as I ask evangelist gardener to pray the closing prayer in Jesus name praise the Lord praise God hallelujah he said one standing by most holy righteous heavenly father hallelujah the one and only God as it is written thank you Jesus the God the God almighty Jehovah Jireh the I am that I am. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou art the Alpha. The Omega. Thou art the Omega. Thou art the beginning. Thou art the end. Father God and Christ, there is nothing exists without thee. Oh God, we thank thee for being the God of the world. We thank you for your hallelujah mercy that endure it forever. Thank you, Jesus. Because of your great mercy, that's why we are here. Hallelujah. This night giving thanks and praise unto thee. Thank you for our, our bishop, Lord, and all our elders, your visiting friends and the brethren that are here. And all oh, Lord Jesus, if there is any online. Father God and Christ, I pray that each and every one receive a blessing. Oh Lord Jesus, tonight, as we start our three days of Thanksgiving service, we come to the end of the first. We pray, Lord Jesus, that some soul in the rest of this uh, the days that is to come, that even one soul, Lord, hallelujah, may we cry out, Abba Father. We give thee thanks for your grace and mercy. Thank you for that word that 
Amen. That come forth by your servant. In the person of Jesus of our district and the king. Thank you for him, Lord. We pray that you'll continue. Amen. Fill the young man with, with, with words. Mouth with words. Amen. To give unto your people. Because it is written. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. For the word to be given to those. Amen. Hallelujah. Who does not know the word. I never, so, I never hear the word before. Lord Jesus, the word is to establish to every soul. So I pray, Lord, that they will continue to use the young men. That you said, young men, I write unto you because you are strong. And as we come to the end of the first, amen, session of his three days, we pray, Lord, amen, that thou art both to go, go before us, lead and direct the way. And if it is thy will for us to assemble again for another day, Amen for the, amen for tomorrow, if thy will. I pray, Lord, that thy will be done. And guide and protect us continually as we ask and defend in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah. No unto him it is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory. The children joy to the only wise God our Savior. To him be glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. May the Lord God bless you all in Jesus' name.